Okay, so here's the problem. We have two layers in this map. One layer is the polygon uh, of, it's called slopes, and one has points. And what we're supposed to do is take the slope values of each of these polygons and join them, basically, do a spatial join. Uh, of, we want to find out the slope at each of these points, basically. But the problem is the only slope data available in here is in this comments field which is a text field and it has a range of slopes so to make this usable I would probably the only thing I can think of is to take an average of these two numbers but it's not they're not numeric so the first thing to do is make them numeric so um, here's this other poly GID um, it's blank so I'm gonna use it and just calculate a field and the first thing I want to do is strip out that comment uh, use the strip method and strip out the word slope colon space from the comment field and make the poly GID field equal to the, the comment field with that slope stripped out of it. And um, that, that doesn't make it numeric, but it's closer. Um, then I think I need to add some fields. Um, the problem is I can't make this numeric until I kind of um, get, I need two extra text fields, one for the low value of the range, one for the high value of the range. And once I get those into, they have to be text fields to be able to do that, I think. And then once they're just strictly numbers, then I can actually make them numeric. So it's actually a two step for each one for each range process. So I'm going to add some fields here. So this first field will be like um, slope low uh, text and that's going to be a text field. I think I need to just make that the same length as the comment which is actually I don't. Um, that'll work. And this will be slope high text text for that and perhaps I'll make that 25 also don't need to make it more and then two more just slope uh, low and slope high um, slope low should be well it shouldn't be uh, integer there's some decimals in there so I'll just make it double not that I need that much precision on it um, though that that should work one more uh, for the average so slope average and that'll also be double and we'll save that getting some sort of error over here but it's on the date I don't care so just shut it down and okay okay so now I have these fields in which I can calculate uh, the required values so slope low I'll do a field calculation on this and make it uh, equal to the, the poly GID field, but this time I'm going to use the um, split uh, method and I'm going to split it on the dash here. So a dash in quotes, maximum of one, split per, not that I actually need that because there's only one in there. Um, so maybe I'll just take it out and uh, the, in brackets I want to take um, this produces a list you know, left of the split and right of the split so I want the low value to be left of the split so that's the zero count so the count starts at zero and that should work let's just run that okay so I can see uh, looking at the values now that I have a single number in there I can actually make the numeric field slope low equal to that and it'll just convert the the data type to to uh, double precision not that I needed that much so anyway I'm going to copy this and uh, calculate the slope high and simply just change that value to a 1 which is the second uh, number in that split and run it that should be the 10 and the 2.5 and the, yeah, there we go and so now um, even though it failed it didn't seem to fail to me 
let's look at that. Um, there may be a couple values here um, that didn't work. Okay, so our second problem was the high value. Um, if I scroll down, I'll find that um, the high value will break if I just do that split um, because there's nothing to split and I'm not going to have um, a second value in the list um, for the high values whenever I get this less than a thousand uh, slope. So a little bit of if statement going on here would probably work pretty well. So I'm going to recalculate slope high text to accommodate for that. So I'll just make a function uh, banana, I guess, and base it off that poly ID field again. And I'm going to define the banana field or uh, function. Uh, so I'll just use dole as my variable in there. And now I want to put the if statement if dole basically is equal to uh, this less than 1000 um, and I'm really hoping that all of them say exactly when you know less than 1000 uh, in a point with one decimal place in, in quotes and if that's the case then I can return uh, simply just return in this uh, uh, 1,000. Otherwise, else, I can return uh, the split that I was that I was going to do. So um, th this time, the function is now called dole, and I'm going to split it just like I did before, where I'm looking for the the dash in it and I'm going to split it at the dash and take the second value in it which is the first well the number one value which is just one the second one passed to zero and uh, that should work let's see if we have any typos in there it looks okay let's just see if that works So here I am. I uh, was able, I just tested it and fixed it. I can take out the less than symbol, the left bracket, or ang angle symbol, anyway, from the column just by using the uh, replace. So if I just add that in with a dot replace, and I want to replace all the angles with just a empty quotes that should I even enabled undo but it doesn't work so um, I tried to undo what I did before and it just didn't do it so just gonna run it should take out all the left brackets out of out of that so now I'm left with text values for the, these numbers which are just alphanumeric uh, string uh, data types. So now I can uh, calculate, well, I don't really need to right click that, I can just change the field that I want to calculate here and slope low now is going to equal <clears throat> just slope low t and I would have, it would have been nice to just replace that less than with it and put it in there but I would have gotten an error. Uh, in this case I can just re I can just make numeric values out of these just by running them so we'll let that run, and then slope high will be equal to slope high t. And now I have numeric values in any case, and I would I would expect that I could make my slope average equal the slope low plus the slope high uh, in parentheses 
um, divided by 2. So um, that would be the average of it. So we'll just run that and too many parentheses there. And there I have my slope average and I have a number for it. So my next step would be to do a spatial join with these polygons that now have usable data with these points. So I want to um, do a spatial join on the points and join the attribute data of these polygons based on where they are, right? So just the join features being the slope and the output feature class um, doesn't really matter what I always call it point slopes and it's really a one-to-one -one, um, every and it may be a one it may be a many to one but that doesn't matter because each point's going to get an individual slope with this and I don't really mind adding all the fields um, I could do a search radius, but that's not really what I want to do. Um, I don't want to do an intersect. I just want to be, it's uh, completely within. Um, and then just uh, run it. So after looking at the attribute table of this new layer, Then I have points with slope values. Yay.